Elden Ring draws inspiration from many sources. One source of inspiration, noted by the Elden Ring lore community, is the tradition of European alchemy. In researching this topic, one text immediately bears strong resemblance to the people, places, and stories of Elden Ring. By reading this text, we may gain greater insight into the storytelling of Elden Ring. What follows are direct readings from the Twelve Keys of Basil Valentine. The Sixth Key The male without the female is looked upon as only half a body, nor can the female without the male be regarded as more complete, for neither can bring forth fruit so long as it remains alone. But if the two be conjugally united, there is a perfect body, and their seed is placed in a condition in which it can yield increase. If too much seed be cast into a field, the plants impede each other's growth, and there can be no ripe fruit. But if, on the other hand, too little seed be sown, weeds spring up and choke it. If a merchant would keep a clear conscience, let him give just measure to his neighbor. If his measure and weight be not short, he will receive praise from the poor. In too much water, you may easily be drowned. Too little water, on the other hand, soon evaporates in the heat of the sun. If, then, you would attain the longed-for goal, observe just measuring in mixing the liquid substance of the sages, lest that which is too much overpower that which is too little, and the generation be hindered. For too much rain spoils the fruit, and too much drought stunts its growth. Therefore, when Neptune has prepared his bath, Measure out carefully the exact quantity of permanent water needed, and let there be neither too little nor too much. The twofold fiery male must be fed with a snowy swan, and then they must mutually slay each other and restore each other to life, and the air of the imprisoned fiery male will occupy three of the four quarters of the world and make up three parts of the imprisoned fiery male that the death song of the swans may be distinctly heard, then the swan roasted will become food for the king, and the fiery king will be seized with great love towards the queen, and will take his fill of delight in embracing her until they both vanish and coalesce into one body. It is commonly said that two can overpower one, especially if they have sufficient room for putting forth their strength. Know also that there must come a twofold wind, and a single wind, and that they must furiously blow from the east and from the south. If, when they cease to rage, the air has become water, you may be confident that the spiritual will also be transmuted into a bodily form, and that our number shall prevail through the four seasons in the fourth part of the sky, after the seven planets have exercised power and that its course will be perfected by the test of fire in the lowest chamber of our palace, when the two shall overpower and consume the third. For this part of our magistery, skill is needed, in order to divide and compound the substances aright, so that the art may result in riches, and the balance may not be falsified by unequal weights. The sky we speak of is the sky of our art, and there must be justly proportioned parts of our air and earth, our true water, and our palpable fire. <laughs>